Hey, it's Tuesday, March 14th, and we're gonna continue the second part of what we started talking about yesterday. We're continuing just talking about the anointing of Jesus, the power and presence of Jesus living inside of us. So today we're gonna to read in John chapter seven, verse 37 to 38. It says, on the last day of the feast, the great day, Jesus stood up and cried out, if anyone thirsts, let them come after me and drink. Whoever believes in me, as the scriptures has said, out of their heart will flow rivers of living water. So this is, this is exactly what we're talking about with Peter's shadow, that what overshadowed him was released out of him, that, that his shadow would literally fall on people and the anointing of Christ was pouring out of him because he would so sit and so soak in the power and presence of Jesus that it literally just radiated out of him. So here we're talking about the exact same thing. Jesus is saying, whoever comes to me and drinks, if you are filled, he's saying, filled by me and filled for me, then out of your belly is a more accurate translation. Rivers of living water will flow from within you. So it says on the last day of the feast. So this feast that Jesus had went to was called the feast of tabernacles or the festival of tabernacles. This is where the Israelites would go out into the desert every single year to remember God's faithfulness in their 40 years in the desert season in the wilderness. They would remember how God provided manna from, for them from heaven, how he, how he gave them water from a rock, that he literally gave them water to drink in the middle of a desert from a rock for 40 years. Years. So they would set up these, they called them booths or tabernacles. They were like tents. They were little makeshift tents that they would set up in the desert every single year and they would live out there for a week, remembering God's faithfulness, celebrating the faithfulness of God to their ancestors for miraculously providing for them those years in the desert. And so on the very last day, right here it says, on the last day of the feast, the great day, on that last day, what they would do is they would take water and they would come and pour water onto the altar. And this was their way of remembering God's faithfulness. They were like pouring out the water of like, God, you are so faithful that you provided water from a rock for us those years in a desert for our ancestors. So they would pour the water on the altar remembering God's faithfulness. And this is the day that Jesus stands up as they're pouring the water on the altar and says, if anyone thirsts, let them come to me and drink. So he is literally saying like, I am living water. And then he proclaims to them that out of your belly, rivers of living water will flow from within you. So he's literally talking about this power, this presence, the anointing of having the resurrection power of Jesus living inside of us through the power of the Holy Spirit. So he's saying rivers of living water will flow from within you. And so he's proclaiming the life giving call that he is giving to each one of his followers that, that he is about to die. He is about to um, resurrect and then ascend back to heaven. And then he's going to send his Holy Spirit who wants, desires to live out of us like rivers of living water, that we should literally be like those that provide life. We're life givers to everyone and everything that we come across, that we just have these rivers of living water, the power of his spirit, the presence of God just continually flowing through us. So again, it takes us doing what Jesus called us to do, which is denying ourselves and taking up our cross and and following after Jesus and letting his rivers of living water flow from within us. Um, I love Habakkuk 2.14. It says, um, for as the waters fill the sea, the earth will be filled with an awareness of the glory of God. That God intends for the glory of God to cover the earth just as waters cover the sea. And he intends for that by Christians like you and me, that we should each have rivers of living water flowing from within us. Imagine if there were a million Christians that were just letting the life and the love and the peace and the joy of Jesus flow through us and bring life to everyone that we meet. The whole world would be different and it would, it would fulfill Habakkuk too, where that's saying that just as the waters cover the sea, so the glory of God will fill 
the earth. So let's pray for that as we pray today. God, we thank you that you came um, as living water, that you desire to not just satisfy our souls for a little bit of time here on earth, but for all of eternity. And so we just receive this day your living water. Our souls are so thirsty. Our souls are so yearning for you, for your power, for your presence, God. We are dry and we have nothing without you. But yet with you, life flows through us. And so let us this day be those that breathe your life, your breath of life to others as we talk to them, as we meet with them, as we pray for them. Let us be those that are bold and share the gospel with others and, and pray for others who are hurting and um, share the good news that you came to be living water to satisfy our souls for all of eternity. So Jesus, we thank you for this. In Jesus' name, amen. Um, if you want to read all of John 7, it'll give you context into what we're talking about. It's just such a great chapter. Um, the whole word of God is just beautiful and will give us the living water that we need to be able to pour that living water out to others.